Oh, I tell you, what a day, what a day. But we thank God for this day. Giving a great shout out to the YouTube family. Hope everybody's doing well from Papa JT down to Baby Brother Justice. Uh, just want to talk a little bit about the production a little bit. Uh, had some questions earlier as I checked my email about the CD. Uh, I'm still working on it. I'm still working on the CD. I'm going to tell you though, it's hard, man. Even today, it's been a very frustrating day for me with this music because I just can't get nothing to line up like I wanted to. And if you're in production, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When you have them days when you can try all you can and just, you can't get things to just come out right. And then you got a lot of distractions that's always happening in life. We know that. Hey, that's a part of life. I ain't mad at that. But I do get mad when I can't get my thoughts right with this keyboard here and this music because I have wasted a lot of time helping everybody else. And I believe one of my problems with me the man is I done lost a lot of what I had in me. A lot of my creation because I got tied up in everybody else. But I've been working hard on my own stuff. I'm almost, I want to say I'm about halfway close to finishing the project to those who've been asking me about the CD I'm still working on. But man, I'm going to tell you something. When you got to do everything by yourself, when you got to lay down all the music by yourself, when you got to buy all the equipment by yourself, when you the only one putting up money, it takes time, don't admit it, man. It takes patience. And I'm going to tell you this again in this video. You need to get off and around folks that ain't doing nothing. Folks will bring you down. I found that in my life the hard way. Everybody that say they ain't with you, I mean, everybody that say they with you, most of them ain't with you. They either with you or they're against you. And I don't, leave, I don't need no negative folks around me with all their negative ways and all about they sell. It's either you're going to push or you're going to pull. If you ain't going to pull, get out of the way. And I'm talking about production. I'm talking about family members. And I'm talking about church folks all in one. And I believe a lot of y'all are dealing with the same thing. You got some folks in your family, man, you, don't, you just don't even want to see them knocking on your door. You get tired of them coming around because all they is is about negative stuff. And the only time they come around if you can, if, oh, what can you do for me today? And when you're trying to focus on your music, see, that's that word, focus. That's what's hard to do, man. Stay focused. It's already hard because you got to balance out everything from being a minister of music. That takes up pretty much all your time. Teaching songs and choir parts. Then you got your own production you try to get through. Then you be trying to help others. Then you got all these distractions. Then some of y'all got a uh, family. You know, you're married. See, all of that stuff can take you away from your goal. Because if you are around, especially negative stuff, you are not going to stay focused. And uh, I'm really doing this video uh, for my man, my boy. My boy 29, man. Uh, you say, how do I stay focused? I'm going to tell you, it's hard to stay focused. But, but I tell you this, I keep God first. I close the door on folks, and I cut my phone off on folks. People think I be being mean with that, but that's the only way I'm going to get it done. Because half of the folks call me don't want a damn thing, man. I'm just being honest. They don't want nothing, but they begging or them knocking on the door, they begging. It's always something, man. But I don't look down on nobody. And since I've been with this food bank little ministry, that's really been taking a lot of time out. Because that's going to knock four or five hours out of the day easy. And I've been going out there, it looks like all during the week now. And I love it because I love to help others. But I can't forget about helping myself and stand on my own project. So how do I stay focused? I'm going to tell you off top the word of God. God keeps me focused. And I leave all this stuff alone that ain't got no business doing no way. This is why I tell you, this is another reason why JT do these videos. what I was telling Pop. I found something, I told Pop, I found something else that I love doing and it keeps me out of trouble. You know what Pop said? It keep you out of trouble and you helping the kingdom. I like that, Pop. God bless you. I ain't. I, ne I never really looked at it like that in so many ways. 
And when you find something positive that can keep you from getting in trouble, that's why I just did that video on porn. And, and y'all see me do videos on anything because people need to learn to keep it real. Because if you ain't keeping it real with yourself, you sure ain't going to keep it real with others. See, it's easy for me to do this right here. Another video than to look at a video with butt naked folks in there and sucking each other up and all that stuff. I'd rather do this right here. Keep my mind on the Lord and keep my mind on his music. That is the problem with most musicians and minister of music, singers and preachers and everybody. They got too much time invested in negative stuff. Oh, I got to get out here and run these holes. Well, I'd rather do this video than to go run some holes. I got to stay right in my mind. See, I done lived that, that, that worldly life. It didn't work for JT. I learned to grow up and stop acting like a damn fool. Some of us are grown and still acting like fools. You got to get wisdom. You got to get the word of God. You will never get your goal accomplished if you keep chasing women, smoking dope, doing all the things that's blocking you from getting closer and closer to your goal. So instead of getting closer and closer, you moving further away. Yes, I'd be a lying fool if I sit up here and say it wasn't hard, especially as a young man. As a young man that that's have a hard enough time fighting everything off of me. And if you are a minister of music and you in music, you singing everything, well, you know what I'm talking about, how you got to dodge women all the time. These, I don't have nothing against these women. I, I, God bless the women. But they, I'm talking about these hoist women that come up in your face throwing themselves at you and they don't care if you're married or not. They got their legs already open. Inviting you in. And if you ain't careful, you're going to wind up horn around. I know too many musicians messing churches up because they sleeping with everybody in the church. And the pastor got the nerve to steady leave them in position because... I can't find another musician. Man, when you in this music game, you've got sex around you, drugs around you, anything you name is negative is around you. And I'm talking about church folks, people, and in the world. And why I be telling folks to be, boy, I wish I could have took some of y'all in some of these studios I used to go to when you supposed to be laying down a gospel project. And you see everybody that you think supposed to be about God business, they the ones in there got the sacks of weeds rolled up and all the drink you can drink, getting messed up in the studio, cussing everybody out. This is what I used to be around. This is why I left a lot of folks alone. This is why I left a lot of groups alone. And I wasted a lot of time out of my life. But you know what? It was a learning experience. I learned a whole lot. I learned what to do and what not to do. I learned who I can hang around and who the hell not to hang around. Folks will bring you down and you will find yourself doing the same thing they doing. When I was in this other group a while back, I was the only one that used to be sober. The only one that wasn't smoking. And I'm in there messing with other musicians, trying to get something together. And everybody and they ain't even in their right mind. They don't even know what time it is. And I'm talking about gospel projects. You gotta have the you gotta have God in you, especially nowadays. You better wake up every day. Oh man, you better stay guarded up at all times. Yes, anybody in production can feel what I'm saying. I should have been had a CD out, but I'm not making up no excuse. Now people just gotta be mad at me, like folks on YouTube mad at me. Well, you got time to do these videos like this? You could have did that. You could have did a video teaching. Well, teach yourself. When God changes you and how you do other things, it ain't for other people. When God say move around, don't even ask no questions. Don't worry about who like you or who don't. That's how I am. I can't sit and worry about who like me and who don't. It's, my time is valuable, people. Your time is valuable. And when you play around with time, see, one thing about time, you know what I like about Flavor Flay? They wore that big clock around his neck. And people say, why do you wear that clock, Flavor Flay? Flavor Flav say when I touch it and look at it, mind me of one thing I can't never get back, and that's time, and that is so true. You cannot get back time that you have wasted, but what you can do is move forward from where you at now and learn from your mistakes in the past. Time is winding down. I said, Lord, before I leave this, 
before I die, let me be able to put this CD out. And whatever I need to do, let me do it. And when you're all in it by yourself, ain't no joke. See, I don't know about y'all, but I deal with a lot of music up here. I believe I have two minds sometimes. Because I have so much music. Sometimes when I go play, I don't feel like playing no keyboard. I don't even want to hear no music a whole lot of times. I do pop like that sometimes. He'll come on in here and listen to this song. And I'll be like, Pop, I don't feel like hearing it, man. I've been listening to that music all day. But you know what I do? Listen at it anyway. And then when Pop plays something, I'm going to love it. Regardless if I want to hear it or not. Ain't that how we get people? Especially at church, they don't never let you rest. Oh man, listen at this song. I don't feel like hearing that song. Sometimes when I leave church, man, it don't, it don't be to 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning before I get home. Because I don't stay down the street from my church. Sometimes I ride all the way home and just let the windows down and let the Lord with the wind be my music. Say, speak to me, Lord. Speak to my heart. So when you're in this thing by yourself, keep pressing on. Don't let nothing stop you from your goal. God bless you.